0014. Okay, uh, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. This is a part three of the uh, solar battery. Uh, if you follow part one, part two, uh, you understand the traditional or today's available technology uh, for solar battery. The first one is actually is the SLA. The second one is the flood battery. Okay. So today's um, the last part. I would like to talk about uh, our excitement. Why we say excitement in two zero one four is because uh, solar power mark uh, together with Goma SC Origin, uh, we will launch our lithium. Uh, Battery, yeah. Basically, this is a lithium ion phosphate uh, battery, LiPo. All right. This is one of the best solar battery available in the market at the moment, and um, a lot of people talk about you know lithium uh, lithium battery, uh, especially in solar application, but they have no idea uh, what it's all about. Yeah. So if you go to our website, you can find that actually we already carry uh, four different configuration of uh, lithium battery. We have the smallest one is a 4 AH, alright. Then we have the 8 AH and uh, 16 AH and uh, 30 AH, yeah. And even we have the uh, 100 AH. But okay, today this is with me. It's basically is the uh, 30 AH, yeah. This is the 30 AH uh, lithium battery, yeah. Okay, so um, okay. So you can also um, download the data sheet in our website on the uh, lithium battery. Uh, in other words, we call it uh, L -I -L -F -P, la, yeah? So it's a lithium ion phosphate, okay? LFP, yeah? Uh, you can read out about a bit on the why this battery is now uh, the best battery for solar application. Uh, you can read uh, roughly about the uh, data sheet. Uh, on the uh, battery and the performance, yeah. Uh, basically, for a lithium battery, um, they all the cycle for lithium battery is actually is very good. Why? Is because of uh, normally, let's say you do a DOD of eighty percent, uh, they have a discharge like I mentioned in part one. Uh, you will get about roughly about two thousand cycle, yeah, two thousand cycle. But you do not need to what like we do in uh, SLA or flood battery, whereby you need, let's say if the temperature is too high, uh, 25C to 35C, you need to cut it in half. But for lithium battery, you don't need to do that. Why? Number one is because lithium battery itself, especially LiPo, huh? I'm talking about LiPo, I'm not talking about lithium uh, iron or lithium polymer. Those are different kind of battery. Um, this is uh, L LiPo battery, yeah? lithium uh, iron phosphate, yeah. This kind of battery actually are designed, uh, purposely designed, uh, for solar power application. Especially the one that we manufacture ourselves actually is designed for solar power application. And because it's for solar power application, we know that most of the time this is going to be a very hot uh, ambient temperature, yeah. So the battery itself actually is designed to able to withstand uh, in the uh, uh, working condition of roughly about 50C, yeah? So even, let's say, you use this battery roughly around 50C, 50 Celsius, uh, you do a DOD of uh, 80%, it still will give you 2,000 cycles. In other words, uh, more than 5 years, yeah? So one thing good about lithium battery is actually is uh, it's a very, very good in temperature, yeah? That means it performs very, very well in a hot condition, very, very hot condition. So that's why we always say, uh, what in 2014 and year to come, lithium battery will replace all the uh, SLA battery and flood battery. Then the next question people will say, um, uh, lithium battery, is it going to be very, very expensive? Um, look at the price uh, on your website and this and that is almost like, uh, you know, double compared to uh, SLA battery, yeah? Yes, it's, it's correct. Uh, you when you look at it, let's say it's double, all right. But when you take it to account, uh, put in the temperature, uh, the DOD, and at the end of the day, you see how much uh, you are using per day. Uh, then you apply back to the uh, lipo lithium lipo battery, uh, DOD let's say eighty percent. Uh, Temperature, all right, and you divided how many cycles that you can use, and at the end of the day, you will find out 
uh, lithium battery uh, is more affordable, uh, more better return on investment than uh, the uh, compared to the uh, SLA or flood battery. Let's say you operate into a very hot temperature. That means it's, let's say you are install things like, for example, a street light or CCTV, uh, outdoor or some uh, SCADA device whereby it's very hot. All right. So you will find out a lithium battery is much better return to investment. But let's say if you say I can maintain uh, my temperature, ambient temperature around less than 30 C, uh, sorry, 30 Celsius, then of course uh, you will find out uh, flood battery will still have a better uh, return on investment. Okay? So the third part I'm going to talk about is actually um, these day there is a lot of user, uh, solar user, uh, design all kind of uh, wireless application. Yeah? When you're using the solar system, another be uh, benefit is actually is the wireless uh, application. Yeah? Uh, most of the time, if you, for example, you are building a street light, if you're using a normal SLA battery or AGM battery, uh, you need to build a very big compartment like this. Very big, just for this guy, and plus a charge controller. Yeah. Um, this is 100 AH, by the way. Um, but when you have a lithium battery like this, all right, it's become very, very small, and with a charge controller, Basically, you can embed the whole thing inside a solar panel, and because of you can do that is because um, this can work in a very hot uh, temperature. Yeah. Another benefit is uh, I want to explain here. Uh, just bear with me. Although this is hundred AH, how to fight with uh, a thirty AH? Right. This is a thirty AH uh, lipo uh, lithium battery. How can this challenge this? This is 100 AH and this is 30. Okay, like I say, if you look at the DOD uh, on the uh, first part, let's say you cycle roughly about 20% or 30%. Uh, for 100 AH, DOD of 20%, basically you only get about roughly about 20 M hour. Okay, let's say you design your street light system. Okay, every day you take about 20. Uh, percent DOD of discharge uh, because you want to you know prolong it a bit to let, let it last about two years yeah so because you add in the temperature and things like that so this will last let's say you cycle about 20 percent a day so uh, it will last about uh, two years plus in the temperature effect yeah okay and let's say you do not want to use this anymore you upgrade to a lithium battery this roughly you uh, cycle about 80% of the 30 AH, yeah. So basically, passing the heat and temperature, it will still give you about 2000 cycle. All right, 2000 cycle is equivalent to five years. This one 20% cycle, heat temperature, everything all in is about uh, two years. This is going to be five years. So, although this is double of this price, this is this is double, but at the end of the day, you do the math, you do the calculation, you'll find that this is much, much uh, better kind of battery. And again, like I said, this is going to be lightweight. Uh, it's going to be saving on space, lightweight, saving on space compared to this. This one, I think some of you have hard time carry, and you need to build a very big compartment, and this doesn't last longer than this. This is almost double. Yeah. Five years, two years. Yeah, so this is the uh, lithium battery. Okay, um, more to come about lithium battery is because uh, in SC origin and as well as uh, solar light mark, a lot of our new product, especially in solar light, uh, we are already using lithium battery for one to two years. And so far, the customer they're using our lithium battery for their solar light. I think they until today no one uh, you know is, is very happy and no one complain uh, complain about it. And uh, we believe that it will be able to last uh, five years, yeah. So um, controllers such as Gamma, okay, are able to charge the uh, lithium battery. And also, uh, time to come, we will launch a more controller, solar charge controller, that able to uh, charge uh, lithium battery. And also the uh, charger here, uh, you can uh, four in one. You can do this on the lithium, yeah. This is designed for lithium. It's a ten A charger, okay. And one more thing I need to talk about uh, regarding lithium batteries actually is the BEMS, okay? 
to protect our battery, uh, if you read the data sheet here, okay, you can read this data sheet. Uh, we'll talk a bit roughly about BMS. Uh, BMS stands for uh, battery management system. Yeah, our battery itself, we, we have installed a circuit inside here. All right, basically, is uh, another word is another controller. It's actually basically we use the gamma uh, BMS. In other words, it's the gamma controller basically because the gamma is a well accepted and a very very good and very reliable uh, controller uh, we build our BMS based on the gamma characteristic in other words this is basically is a, a, a gamma BMS uh, we are embedded built in in the battery so that uh, you are protected battery yeah so when you have a solar system with our controller that is designed for charging lithium plus the BMS itself inside here, the gamma BMS, uh, we believe that the charging itself will be uh, perfect and good. Uh, at the moment, we also don't recommend that um, other charger, uh, other solar system uh, to use our lithium battery at the moment because we are not sure other people's uh, solar charge control whether it can work well or they are designed to charge uh, our lithium battery, yeah. So at the moment, but let's say you are ready to do this. Uh, you want to upgrade from uh, SLA to lithium. Uh, do talk to us on uh, how the uh, the current charger can able to uh, uh, do that, yeah. So this is the uh, part three of our lithium battery, yeah. So do read read a bit on our data sheet. Uh, you will get more info the benefit of using the uh, lithium battery, uh, and, and of course uh, two zero one four. You will find out a lot of product, especially uh, the uh, the popular products such as the uh, DIY kit and the professional kit. Uh, you will find out a lot of uh, DIY kit will uh, come with uh, lithium. Uh, iron for spec battery and as well as the professional kit yeah although you will see that the initial investment cost is higher a bit but at the end of the day uh, you will have a better return in investment because lithium is always uh, you know last the cycle is always last longer need to be changed and of course one more thing about lithium I uh, forget to mention is lithium actually charge much much faster than SLA battery and it is also faster than the uh, flood battery. So in other words, uh, it's much better value for your money. Yeah. So uh, please continue follow uh, the new development that uh, we will um, talk on, especially on the uh, lithium battery side. Yeah. Okay. If you do have any question, uh, any doubt, uh, please do give us a call or, or drop us an email, and we are happy to uh, you know answer all your doubt. Alright, thanks for uh, watching our part 3 of this uh, solar battery program and I wish you a very good 2014.